and welcome to my channel of experience sharing today 2022 of the 26th Friday of night day let's begin and today I want to explain how I connected my um, a Linux box to it's basically Debian and connected to a Apple um, Bluetooth keyboard since I use Linux it's very, I found it very difficult to use Bluetooth it compared to Windows it's almost uh, Ten times more difficult, and uh, but now finally I got it working, and uh, but now with the Bluetooth mouse, the Bluetooth keyboard, uh, it's not that difficult now. First, we type in this amount adapter, then we can search to get all the drafts of the device with Bluetooth, then the uh, stop it, and find the one you need. For example, I want to connect it to. Anyway, any device, I don't care. Maybe this device, okay. Uh, of course, and I have already my Bluetooth device working, and just for any new device, uh, maybe a, a, a headphone, okay, and I can get a name here, and I get a draft. Then you copy the draft, then you um, use BT device C, and then you hit enter. Wrong button. Then you hit enter, and then you will get it connected. But if you connect it, you must get it trusted. Let's say you have the ET device set, and with this one, a graph and trust it. True. Then after trust it, when you reboot, it will get all the device working. Now. This the command will show every device that I'm already added. A Microsoft Bluetooth mouse with that address and a, um, a keyboard, an Apple keyboard. Okay. Now, so far so good, but one thing though that's the problem for me is that if I use the function key, I use a lot, and a function key is a bit strange in Apple's keyboard. Because you have to press the function key and first to get the priority given to the uh, media like the volume and so on. If not for me, I would uh, use the function key more often than using those media keys. So what can you do? Then you can see that actual information is actually stored in this file. Apple parameters. FM mode and if it want, all you can do is <coughs> change it to tool, okay? And it change tool and you see it, it tool now. Okay, make it smaller. Uh, or okay. Anyway, because I switch back to TWM from uh, i3, not, not, not quite used to TWM again, having used i3 for a long time. And now, but if you, now I got it, uh, the function key, now working already. I just tried the function key F11 for Maximum minimize, but after reboot, it doesn't work. Then what can you do? Then you do. Have this command it further, the clone tab, and then you can select an editor, use a nano emacs. Okay, I use nano. No, I think Vim is good in this case. I like emacs, but for some short term work or some simple work I would like them because they compare to the car to the bicycle. A vim is a bicycle is very convenient okay, so here and then add a command I would say reboot home Clement script patch function use at H and that's it. And what is this about? And what that script is. Hmm. 
show that trick. Yeah, that script is simple. It's an accu tool. This means we play the value here. No longer one, but two. Okay? So when we boot, you would have the same function again. So I have the, my function key working fine. Okay, that's it. That's it. And, uh, I, I know maybe you are not a Linux user, then you found this absurd using all these kind of typing for setting a simple Bluetooth device. But, uh, one advantage that you know very well the basic for Bluetooth, even though the address or the device and, uh, okay, that's the device, uh, you can even search for a new Bluetooth device, adapter, minor D, and you can see it, uh, a bit of fun, you know, you know, the half rate, both and not, so everything in computing. Okay, thank you very much for listening to this share experience and, uh, uh, we should talk to you later. Uh, okay. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.